Yo, what's going on guys? Today I have another meme video. This time I'm using my voice because the last one I did with the Win Gisela's and the MIDI, I guess people got the wrong idea of it being like an optimal pool for damage when that's not the intended idea. When I run into a FA, I'm more thinking about survivability and taking as little damage as possible. Damage is not that important because MVP doesn't matter in that raid. But I understand that everybody has that mindset, so I have to talk about things, unfortunately, and use my mic. Feels bad, man. But now, before we start this video, let me drop the disclaimer. The pool used in this video is only for testing purposes only. I do not recommend anyone build this current pool setup. I am just testing it. Please do not build it as it's not even optimal, I don't think. So, just throwing it out there. Now, with that mentioned, let's start on the video. Now, one thing you're probably gonna mention is, is that where's the Opus? The Opus is not Ultra Limit Break, unfortunately. Yes, I know, in 2019, people don't have every um, Opus Ultra Limit Break. Crazy, right? And unfortunately, this counted as one of those people, so we don't have Ultra Limit Break Opus, therefore, the Ixaba was the better option for the grid. If I was to Ultra Limit Break the Opus, I would replace it. So that's one thing. Yes, I'll be running Double Agony as the intended use of this grid is to get 100% critical hit rate. Therefore, we will be losing out on one Shiva call. Therefore, I brought Shiva as a sub summon. You probably noticed that Sun is actually not Full Limit Break. I can't believe it. Yes, there's people in this world who do not Full Limit Break Sun. Yummy. So I know, I know. It's crazy. I didn't believe it either, but you know. People in this world, bro, they crazy, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But you were taking on Nezaha because it has 15 defense, which is kind of like GW standards. Um, I think it's going to be 20 defense now. Unfortunately, not every boss in the game has 20 defense. The only ones are Bahamut, High Level, Fa, and Trial Bot with zero debuffs. I thought about doing a trial. If you guys want me to start doing trial videos and stuff like that, just tell me and I'll consider doing it. But with that, that covers everything. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Let's get to the fight now. Because, you know, I have to throw in all that extra stuff so people can understand everything. Now, I give the buff to Rackham because we really need the fire attack up here. Um, it's very important. To be honest, I don't run any of these characters besides Esser. I mean, I ran Rackham before, but I don't know what any of these characters do outside of Esser. So, I kind of forget because, you know, I don't run them all the time. So... That's uh, questionable. Now, I am a little bit scared here because of the, um, because of the, uh, what's this do again? Hit the accuracy. Seven turns? That's kind of long, right? Yeah. Um, I'm scared of the 50% trigger on this boss, so I'm actually going to save this her skill three so I can try to paralyze it later so I don't get hit by it. Because if I am getting hit by that, it's going to hurt quite a bit. You know, that's not that bad damage. Showing the cave. Not that bad. Um, you got to keep in mind, right? The investment in this grid is 21 bars, right? So, I mean, <laughs> it may not be that bad. But let's be realistic. 21 bars, dude. That's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot of bars. Like, your average player will not be able to acquire this grid by, you know, but just rolling it, right? Mostly, most players watching videos like this, they generally are free to play, right? So, it's kind of rough, unfortunately. Wow, we broke it. We are doing way more damage than I expected. Um, even with the lack of SR Sun, you know, the damage is still not that bad. Now, the one thing that's lacking here is multi-attack rate. While we do have decent multi-attack rate with double attack and triple attack um it takes a little bit of time for the triple attack to come into effect thanks from the purifying to a thunderbolt because you got to get 100 percent charge bar on your main character um i opted to go with rackham's ogi before uh before um my main character because the fire attack is a little bit more valuable though we're doing a lot more damage than i expected so in hindsight i probably should have went with the um main character ogieing first to get that bonus attack and stuff but you know live and learn live and learn right um we're actually going to delay the boss here 
The reason I'm delaying the boss is so that I can line up the trigger around 50. And I forgot to sew up the, um, I forgot to sew up the Ogi, unfortunately. Uh, actually, I think, I think we're lined up more, kind of, right? I think we should be able to hit it. We get like two turns of Paralyze, right? If I remember correctly. I think two turns or three turns. So. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't use these characters that much, you know, so forgive me if I don't remember like their kit 100% off the top of my head. But I believe it should be something like that. I guess we use the double attack here. Triple? Hey, nope. Okay, cool. So we should get the paralyzed off right now. And then we'll just burst it with Esther, I believe. Yeah, two turns. Cool, cool. Um, we're probably not bursting it with Esther now. Think about it, because I think we're only at turn eight. I could be wrong here. Mm. So let me make sure I show the Ogi off this time. Sometimes, you know, in the, in the heat of the battle, I tend to forget things, so forgive me about that. The Ogi's definitely really cool on this weapon. That's the one thing really cool about it. Unfortunately, the weapon's not that amazing. It's a decent weapon. It has, I have 30% bonus damage, and I think 40% TA on it. Top of my head, I don't remember. Um, but it's not that bad. It's, not, it's okay. So I think we skipped the trigger. I hope we do, cause if not, we're gonna die. <laughs> Maybe. And... Oh, guess not. <laughs> Can we live? Oh my God. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. What did we learn? <laughs> okay, I got most of the video off the way. I, I thought I really cared about boss is too hard. Let, let, let's just plug it out. Get some carry. Get some carry. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. I, I was a little bit scared of the trigger. Um, I think they could have brought Alex instead of what? Dev? No, Shiva, I guess, right? I'm, I, I'm not really getting the Shiva now, right? So I guess Alex should work there. Uh, it doesn't matter. So it's, it doesn't matter. Who cares? Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, soloing is a waste of time. Um, I only really do it for videos because everybody else does it, but it's really not how the game's played. I mention it's a lot off stream. Well, I mean, on Discord. Um, Blue Spear hits it the most. He, he, he doesn't really like it, and I don't like it either, but it's really how people do YouTube videos, I guess, so. I just do what everybody else does, personally. I mean, I personally just like to test things out. That's just how I, I am. Most of the time, I just post out a video of just testing things. I enjoy it, it's cool. Just seeing how things work. I, I've never been a guy who liked Motocal and wanted to do all that. I'd rather just see it in action, personally. That's how I've always been. Um, though the problem with that is that not everything is accessible. In a, in a gacha game like this, you know, it's it's not easy to get everything in the game. So you can't really test a lot of different setups and stuff. And just that being a problem is kind of hard. You know, I think we can kill it from here. Actually. Man, that, sing that one double attack on my main character only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I think we got this. You know, I didn't need no help. I didn't need no support. I didn't need the pot. I should have brought back bro, honestly. Unfortunately. I wasn't really expecting to die. <laughs> well, I, I did expect to die. I think I mentioned it, right? I was scared. Um. See, I don't really fight this raid. And let's be realistic. Anyone who fights this raid, it dies in like a second anyway. Come on, it's it's a win raid, right? Let's we all know how win raids go. Join raid battles already finished. So <laughs> I kind of forget how much damage it does. But I, what I want to really blame though is the lack of the opus, right? 
with this grid, right, the HP is really low because there's no Opus, unfortunately. So you can't really just face tank everything without the Opus. Um, as for which Opus would I build, I'm pretty sure people may be wanted, wanted to know. I'm pretty sure you still build Primal. Um, I don't think you build Magna with this type of pool, but I don't recommend anybody really taking the time to build in this pool. So. Unless you're like that guy who happened to pull, let's say, 12 Minadias, 4 Shiva Bows, and a couple Ichibas. Okay, maybe you could try it out, but <laughs> for the average player, you know, I don't recommend it. Right? The investment's not worth it in the long term. Easy, bro! Who needs a full- wow, 5 million. Um, who needs a full team? I don't- you need two characters, bro. Main characters, all, all you need. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Unfortunately, I ended up dying what, around, what, 40-ish? Who cares, though? It's the game. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.